everyone and welcome back to my channel little disclaimer first of all um please ignore like my <laughs> i'm so self-conscious about my ears like it is a joke i hardly ever wear my hair up um just for the fact that like i'm gonna look straight on and you can like see like this one sticks out so much more than this one i just don't like it i just always think i look like big ears um but i thought you know what i'm just gonna do it anyway because my hair just needs washing and yeah also another disclaimer my nails are absolutely vile i'm quite aware i can't paint my nails hence why i get them done but i thought i'd do you know what i mean try have a bit of a lockdown glow up which hasn't worked so um basically so my normal upload day is going to be a Sunday um, and I've got a really exciting video for Sunday coming. However, if you follow me on Instagram um, and you are like a fan of Team Mum and like you follow everyone's stories, you'll obviously know that there was quite a bit of drama last night. I mean, over the last month, there's been quite a bit of drama, um, but it has obviously spiralled really badly like got really bad last night um so basically the whole point of this video is i was supposed to do a co-parenting video in two weeks time but i thought what better time when everything's gone wrong for me do it now do you know what i mean so i've got my cup of tea for the tea so grab yours and um we'll have a chat i make awful teas i'm telling you Don't let it go, let it go Don't let it slip away <sighs> Um I want this channel to be like a girly place where nothing's left unsaid. I want to be really open and honest and just share everything with you all because I mean, I know that's what you all from your comments love the most. Um, and yeah, I just want like my comments to always be open. Um, my DMs on Instagram are always open. So if you ever have any questions, just message me. <sighs> the drama. So I'm going to start with, basically I know I wasn't going to touch on this, but I feel like so many of us, a lot of us are mums, a lot of young mums, older mums, middle-aged, whatever. Um, and we all, not all of us, well, everyone goes through parenting sort of issues, um, whether they're small or big, um, but also a lot of us go through co-parenting issues. Yeah, so if you are Team Mum UK fans or you've just followed me for a while, you'll know like my story and like I've, everything and all the background and yeah. So you'll probably know, and if you don't know, a lot of drama has happened recently with my daughter's dad um so we have had a very rocky relationship um very up and down and recently it's all come to blows over a boy um which i did speak about in my last video like i sort of said like look it has come you might say it's my fault but you know it, i just don't think that when something happens with a boy or anything like it should affect your relationship as in like with your child but me and him are like he's blocked me so i can't even contact him um, I know obviously if there's an emergency of Marley, like I'd always be able to get hold of him. I, we speak for his mum, but you know, we're not on good terms at all. And I just feel like co-parenting is just such a wide subject. And I got so many messages after last night's like drama. Um, like I'm in this situation and my daughter's dad or my son's dad like kicks off. I don't know how to handle it. And how do you handle it? So I just thought, do you know what? What better time? I'll tell you a bit about like what's happened. And I've got some co-parenting questions as well to answer. And I mean, I'm not the best with advice because look at my situation, but I just want to be open, honest and yeah. So my daughter's dad, obviously manly for everyone, a lot of people that might know, um, we've had a very rocky relationship, like very, very rocky. It's been very up and down. Um, we've been in a good place probably for about a year and a half, maybe a bit more. We don't really argue, just not a lot, really, like, a lot to say. And honestly, I've got a lot of comments about him being like jealous. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, Mia can't move on. That's not the case because I have been with somebody after Manly that he didn't have anything to say about. Like, he didn't know him. The issue is with this situation, which don't get me wrong, I do understand Manly being like a bit annoyed, um, is that the person who it's about, um, he, he like is friends with. I mean, I wouldn't say friends as in like, from both part, from both sides, there's different opinions. I'd say it's more like, you're right, how are you, sort of friends. So anyway, that's what it's come to blown, 
blows over. Um, I mean, I can sit here all I want and sit and say, well, I don't really understand why he's called me all these names on social media. I don't know why I said this. I don't know why I said that. It's horrible. But at the same time, I'm not in his head. And if that's how he's going to handle the situation, that's how he's going to handle it. Um, I feel like when there's a child involved, it's a very sticky sticky situation you shouldn't really be doing that say whatever you want to me to my face but I just don't think you should be airing everything on social media but if that's what you want to do then fine so anyway that situation was sort of left I did touch it on my last touch upon it on my last video um however then so after it all came out um he said not very nice things um you know Everyone says things when they're angry and I think that's what people also need to remember like I'm not defending him as in like I completely get what everyone's opinions are um, but people do say things when they're angry He probably shouldn't have take, like taken to social media to write all these horrible names about me and call me out But he did um, and I ignored it. I thought Joe, you know what I'm just gonna ignore it I put something on Instagram and just said like thank you so much to everybody um, Like for do you know what I mean for being there for me and um, I appreciate it. I don't really want to get too into it um I ignored it and do you know how hard sometimes it is to bite your tongue like sometimes I just want to come to blows but I just think that's not what like I'm 24 do you know what I mean I don't really want to be on Instagram writing well he does this and he does that it, it becomes a cat and mouse game do you know what I mean and mums dads out there I feel like you need to just avoid that game in all ways possible because when there's a child involved and you start playing these games and he said this and she said that and it, it, you're coming to blows the only person that's gonna be affected is the child like you just it just can't happen and even if it's not in front of them I still just think like you just need to be so careful um then me I've just become obsessed with TikTok. I love it so much. I sit for hours in the morning and watch TikToks. And if you're a TikTok fan, you know, like, trends happen and, um, do you know what I mean? Like, trends come about and then you, you do this trend and it's all great and, yeah. And I saw, I'm just going to get up and show you. I'm going to be really open in this video. I'll show you what I posted. Um, so I posted this TikTok and I'm going to show you it and then I'm going to defend myself because I feel like I do need to. Um, this is what I posted. This is me dancing. Um, and the video says, My baby daddy, do not be playing with that block button. I breathe wrong equals blocked. To me, I found it funny. Like, I was even going to send it to his mum um, and just be like, Oh, look at this funny, like, how funny, man, he always blocks me. Like, I genuinely found it funny. Um, and I posted it, that was that. And I would never have posted it if I thought it was gonna cause a war, obviously, like I don't want that. But it was just a trend on TikTok. Um, I mean, out of all the things I've been called and all the names I've been called, I don't really think saying my baby daddy blocks me all the time is horrible. I mean, you can all comment and say, like honestly comment on this video if you think that, that is really horrible, but I didn't really think it was. Um, Cause it's a fact, he does always block me. Well. Do you know what I mean he's blocked me so it was just and also TikTok's very light-hearted I feel like if you're on TikTok and I didn't post it on my Instagram story because it's for TikTok it's like a trend like do you know what I mean so anyway I posted that and it's just completely blown up like he's written horrible things like calling me all the names under the sun I'm a bad mum and yeah and the first time this happened and he was saying all this stuff on his like Instagram story it was sort of like okay I get it you're angry but this time, I'm like, you've been even more horrible than you were last time when all I've done is put a TikTok up saying that you blocked me when you have. And it's a general TikTok anyway. The whole point of TikTok is you do a video for everyone to share and be like, oh, that happens to me. I just, yeah. And it's just like, basically, I'm sharing this whole story so that any mums that have these problems with your kid's dad and everything like that, you can like relate and think, okay, that's how... Yeah, that's how I would handle it or how I wouldn't handle it. Um, but yeah, he's called me a lot of names. Um, all over social media. Me and him haven't even me and him haven't even argued face to face. Like nothing. I haven't seen him. Um, but yeah, it's all over social media. And then like, obviously other family members are writing stuff about me. Um, and also, I do just want to put like a disclaimer here. If you are team mum fans as well, here's mum Maggie. Like me and Maggie have built a really good relationship. Um, Malia, Maggie is one of Malia's favourite people in the whole world, like she loves her so much. Um, and I know obviously Maggie has like, you know, in the past gone on to like 
um, gossip pages and like commented back to people and argued and things like that. Um, which has nothing to do with me, but I'm just saying from my side, like, she's such a lovely woman. Like, she would never, like, want to hurt anybody. And I think she just finds it hard sometimes going on those pages and seeing comments about her son um, and finds it hard to bite her tongue. Um, and so, yeah, but from my point of view, like, because I have got quite a few messages saying, like, oh, like, you know, about his mum, I get along so well with her. Like, she's absolutely amazing with Marley. And Marley spends most of her, like, if she's not with me, she's basically with Maggie. Um, she just adores her, do you know what I mean? So, like, I haven't got a bad word to say about her. Um, but, yeah, so other family members were commenting on these pages and just writing horrible, horrible things. Um, and do you know what? I just think you can say what you want about me as in like call me names and talk about my appearance and talk about what I do but I think the only thing that gets to me is when people like slate me down as a mum I don't know if any other mums have this but and you've ever had it before that like it's when you're hit as a mum that it hurts because it's like I, I try to do everything I possibly can for my daughter like I always make sure even when it comes down to a holiday if I'm like right I want to go on holiday this year with the girls I'm like right I need to make sure Malia has like a longer holiday than what I'm gonna have um to make sure it's equal and Malia's four like she doesn't even understand but I think I've just got this thing in my head from being called like a bad mum all the time so that now I'm like if there's two nights out in a month I'm like oh is that too much whereas really I think who cares I'll do what I want my child is happy but yeah I think the comments calling me a bad mum that's what gets me the most um, and obviously the comments saying I introduce a different man to my daughter every other month, which isn't true. Um, if you want to get really into it, I've introduced two people to Malia. Um, and both of those people, unfortunately, obviously didn't work out. And she wouldn't remember them now because she was so little. I made obviously, I made sure obviously they were like a safe person, like a really, like, you know, good with children. And I felt like they were the right person to introduce her to and unfortunately it didn't work out and I also the first person I introduced after two months which was quite soon and I probably wouldn't do that now any, anymore um but that was after two months and I thought it was the right time and the second person was after eight months like I didn't introduce him to her for eight months um yeah so I don't and I just think it's very hard when you're called out on social media or your horrible things are said about you because I just think the best thing to do is to rise above it, but sometimes I feel like things need to be said. Um, but I don't really have anything bad to say back to these people that are saying horrible things about me because I just don't, I don't want to waste any of my energy arguing with people whose opinions I don't really care about. I don't really care that you think I'm a beep or a beep or beep. I know I'm not. My family know I'm not. My daughter knows I'm not. My daughter knows I'm not. My friends know I'm not. My daughter's happy. I have a great relationship with my daughter. So I don't actually really care about your opinions. So, but anyway, moving on to the co-parenting side of this, because that's what this whole story, this whole video is about. Um, but that is basically the situation. This brings me on to why it's so hard to co-parent. Um, and I've said it before and I'll say it again. I feel like when there's feelings involved, co-parenting is very, very tricky. Um, because when there's feelings involved, it's like a he said, she said, um, it's always a problem. Um, so I feel like you can't rush a perfect co-parenting situation. If you are arguing with your children's dad or you're arguing with your children's mum, um, and it, you're coming to blows all the time and it's constant bickering, there's, there's probably some feelings left and you can't force that person to not feel for you anymore or you can't force yourself to feel for that person anymore. So the best thing you can do is just give it time and to just try and like pick your battles um but that's what I try to do so like even in this situation now when I see my daughter's dad after it, it's all the drama I'm not going to say anything to him about it because what is the point we have completely different opinions we have completely different values nothing's going to come out of it um and I just wouldn't I just I just wouldn't sorry I always sit on my feet like in my last video I sat on my feet and they went numb um yeah I just don't think anything good comes out of arguing really Especially when you've got different, uh, don't get me wrong, it's good to say your opinion um, if good's going to come out of it, you know, if you're going to come to like a reasonable solution. But if you're not, then what is the point in getting into it in the first place? I've got some co-parenting questions as well that people have asked me. I was going to save them for like my next, next video, but obviously I thought, Jay, you know what, I'm just going to get this video out of the way. Um, because also it's so hard to message everyone back on Instagram. I haven't even started to touch upon the messages that I got last night. So this is also a video to say thank you so much to everybody that does message and always shows me support and it's always so lovely. Um, and yeah, I will try to get back to as many as, of you as I can. But yeah. Um, 
So the first question is, how do you deal with different rules with Malia and her dad then at home? So this all comes down to co-parenting as well. This is what's tricky because me and her dad don't really communicate. Um, we also have completely different thoughts on what's right and what's wrong. So like we have no communication between us on how he tells her off to how I tell her off or what she's allowed to eat and what she's not allowed to eat. And you know, that's what becomes really hard. And I feel like with that as well, you just need to make sure if you are struggling with that too, that you stick to your morals and what you feel like is right for your child when they're with you. And unfortunately, you can't really control what they're doing at their dad's house or their mum's house. You can't physically make your child's other parent not give them sweets before bed if that's what you don't like or make them put them bed to, to bed at seven because that's what time they go to bed at home. And that was something I was stuck on for such a long time. I was obsessed with it. I was like, she needs like the same everywhere. But unfortunately, when you break up with your child's other parent, that's what happens. You're, you're then sort of separate. And if you can work together and have the same rules both ways, then that is amazing. And like, honestly, that is amazing. But at the same time, if you can't, please don't put too much pressure on yourself because it is so normal. They will have different rules and values to you and vice versa. Um, but just don't put too much pressure on yourself because there's nothing you can do about it. Just make sure what you're doing is, you know, don't change what you're doing when, you believe, when that's what you believe in. Do you know what I mean? What is the worst thing about co-parenting? Do you know what? The worst thing about co-parenting I probably say is I get upset sometimes when I when I see like um Oh my god, I promised myself I wouldn't cry in this video. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to do like a good advice co-parenting video and I'm crying. Um sorry. Um sorry, I'm not, I'm not even upset. I'm not even upset. I'm, I don't know why I'm crying. I think it's just when it really gets on top of you. Um, and then the worst part is like when I see my friends that are with their child's dad and it's like a family, do you know what I mean? Like I haven't got that family anymore. Um, and that's something I'd always wanted. I'd always wanted to be with my child's dad. Um, and so I think that's the worst part. Like I don't see what she's like with him and we don't, we made a child together, do you know what I mean? Like she's our child and we don't see that side. Um, so that's one of the worst things, sorry. Why am I crying? Let me just sip my tea. Just a bit emotional, do you know what I mean? Um, so that's probably one of the worst things. Um, and the second worst thing is these situations. Because as I said before, a child's made on love. So when that love breaks down, um, there's still all these jealousy feelings and then there's a child involved and everything just, it just blows up. Um, but my biggest advice back to that is just try and just ugh, ignore. Like, you don't want to be having these, these arguments like what you do in school. You don't want to be doing, well, you called me this, well, you called me that, and you're doing this. Like, we're older than that now. Um, and so, yeah, it's hard because, look, I, I, I even admit I'm wrong. Like, I will hold my, I will hold it in. I will hold it in so much and I will ignore, 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 and then... I put up one thing thinking it was a joke about blocking your, blocking your baby daddy and now it's obviously a massive thing. Um, so even me, like, I still, I still fall, basically. And I just think when you do, if you do end up biting back and you do end up, you know, sort of losing yourself a bit and just letting go, just don't... Oh, my biggest thing is just to not be so hard on yourself when it comes to kids and things like that because nobody is perfect you're never going to be like perfect in someone's eyes but you can be perfect in your own eyes and you will always be perfect in your child's eyes um they look up to you like they are they're gonna become what you've taught them and this is why like i get upset about situations like this because i'm just like okay like decision a decision that i've made when my child isn't around and who i want to speak to has resulted in all of this and i want to teach my child like love and happiness and just to be able to communicate and I can't even communicate myself with her dad do you know what I mean it is so hard I mean this isn't this video isn't even going to be a massive advice video it's just going to be a let let's chat and let let loose video because I don't have the best advice at the moment because I haven't overcome this bad situation if anything it's got worse I've got pins and needles in my phone aren't pins and needles the worst feeling ever by the way my son's dad blocks me all the time how to handle it just, there's a reason why he's blocking you, first of all, and I don't think it's probably because he just can't bother to speak to you. It's probably, again, like I said, there's feelings involved or he doesn't agree with what you're saying. Um, 
so I'm going to have to keep switching legs because I'm not having the end of my last video. I personally think... <sighs> the way I personally handle it is just don't take it too personally. There's nothing you can do. He's blocked you. You're blocked. Um, no matter how much you say, we've got a child together. Why are you doing this? Stop blocking me. That's not going to make him go, okay, I'll just unblock you. Um, for whatever reason he's blocked you, let the dust settle. Um, leave it for a while. Go through somebody else because obviously you're blocked. You're going to have to. And I just think this won't go on forever. If you're in the same situation as me and you've come to blows with your child's dad or your child's mum and it's all a massive mess, it will get sorted eventually. It will always, it will all be forgotten about. Um, I mean, not forgotten about, obviously, but like the, the hurt and the anger won't last forever and eventually you will get along. My ideal situation would be, you know, Marley is happy and then if I was with somebody else and he was with somebody else and we can all come together as a four, that's an eight. A four. Do you know what I mean? That would be so... Like, imagine. That's like... That is literally, at the moment, asking for the impossible. But maybe one day. That would be my best situation. I've got close... One or two of my best friends. Their mum and dad can be in the same room with their partners. And I just look at them and just think, like... I hope that would be me one day. Don't think it's going to be. But that would be an ideal situation. Every time I see my kid's dad, we argue. Um, okay, so I personally feel like arguing in front of kids is not what you want to be doing. Um, I feel like they need to be sort of blind to it all. My best advice for that is just to always try to be the bigger person and walk away from the argument. If nothing's going to come out of that conversation, walk away from it. Um, maybe message that, like, say for example, if you're dropping your son off. Um, drop him off and if his dad or his mum you know start getting angry I would say look I'm gonna go now and I'll message you and then I'd message and say look please just ring me when you've calmed down nothing comes out of arguments when you're angry nothing so just try and let it settle I know it's really annoying because it'll be playing on your head in your head and you'll be like oh my god I just want to get it all out but just try and leave it for a bit until they've calmed down and then have a conversation because nothing's gonna come out of it um but yeah so basically <sighs> I feel like girls, if anyone's having co-parenting issues, we can all work together. Like I've got so many messages of people saying like, always rise above it, don't comment back to it. And no matter how much you've got bad to say, like there's so many things I think, oh, I wish I could say that. Oh, I'm gonna say that. Oh, I'm gonna put this up. Why, why is that gonna get me? It's not gonna get me anywhere. At the end of the day, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I will always, always have love for Manly because he's Marley's dad. And I always will. Like, he's my daughter's dad. Like, if, how can I not? Um, and no matter what he calls me, and no matter what he says, I just hope one day we can work as a team again, which I know we will. I have really good big faith in it. Um, I think people were, things are said in anger. Um, and don't get me wrong, I'm angry. I'm annoyed about how, like, sometimes he he treats me and how he speaks to me and the names he calls me but also at the same time everyone is so different in how they handle situations yes okay it's so wrong um but at the end of the day he's not someone i can cut out my life which don't get me wrong if he spoke to me like this and i had no ties to him boy bye like you're like i'll block you myself don't ever speak to me again but unfortunately because not unfortunately fortunately we've got a beautiful little girl together um and we're gonna have to get along we're gonna have to there's no there's no way there's no if buts or maybe we have to get along um and so holding all this anger inside um holding all this anger inside is not gonna get me anywhere i can be so angry he's called me a beep 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 and be like oh i can't believe he's put that up and i can't believe he's put me a put about that i'm a bad mum up i'm not a bad mum, and i know that my family know i'm not a bad mum, and so do my friends so if that's what he wants to think right now he can think that he's angry um and i just hope that we'll get along better at some point but do you know what has made me have this thought that let me wait there oh I'm gonna limp, I'm gonna limp. Let me just get my book, right there. You're gonna all think I'm mad, all right? But I've started reading this book, Good Vibes, Good Life, How Self-Love is the Key to Unlocking, Unlocking Your Greatness, and it's by Vex King. Honestly, life-changing. Like, I, it's really dirty because of Malia, but um, 
I'm going to find this page that really, really like sticks to me. And this is how I deal with co-parenting situations. Let me find it. And honestly, since reading this, I think about things so differently. I'm going to read a bit of it to you. Um, so like this bit here says, drama is for TV, not for real life. Don't play a part in someone else's episode in which they're the only star. Sorry. Um, and I don't know, this book just honestly, if you just, that's what I'll put it there so you can see. It's just, it's just like, no, um, I don't know, it's just made me look at things differently and I think before I probably would have like completely lost my head and rang up everyone and been like, Aah! and now I just step back and just think, is it even worth it? And do you know what? I'm just gonna focus on my daughter and just, you know, making our life better than arguing with people who clearly don't respect me. If someone doesn't respect you, what's the point in arguing with them anyway? They're not gonna, if I turn around to her dad, for example, and went, but I'm not all the names you're calling me, I'm a really nice person, he's not gonna go, oh my God, yeah, you are. Oh yeah, do you know what I mean? It's just pointless. And do you know what? She's my main priority. Of course I'd love to work things out with him at some point, and I'm sure we will. It's such a stressful, stressful um, subject. And I feel like if you want more videos like this, I'll do more, and do more questions. But yeah, I just thought, why not do it now after the drama? But yeah, thank you everyone for all your love and support. Like, you don't know how much it means to me when the world well, my world feels like it's falling apart and I'll go onto Instagram and I'll see messages after messages of people just being so lovely, like, you're better than this or you're, you're this and you're that. And it's just, it just makes me, like, it just makes me so, it makes me feel warm inside, do you know what I mean? Like, there's so much support, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, love you all and I will see you on Sunday.